that. One more question based on your ionization enthalpy. Let's read the question. Why is there a marked difference in ionization enthalpy values from gallium, indium, and thallium? Right. So here they've given us values. What are the values? They picked up group 13, isn't it? Boron. Yeah. Group 13: boron, aluminium, gallium, indium, and thallium. Done. First ionization enthalpy value is given. Second is given. Third is given. They're asking us why is the difference in gallium? What is the difference? Let's see. Normally, when I move from top to bottom in a group, what will happen? Atomic number increases. When atomic number increases, it's easy for me to take out the electron because the number of shells increases. When the number of shells increases, with less energy only, I can take out the electron. But what is happening here? It was 801. Then this should decrease. It is 577. Good. It has decreased. From 577, it should become 574 or something. But it has gone to 579. Then after that, again it has decreased. Then after 558, it has gone to 589. Isn't it increasing, decreasing? There's a lot of variation. That is what they asked. Why is the difference? Now, when I have to speak about gallium, they have asked me from gallium. Let's see. If I have to speak about gallium, that is group 13, before gallium, what elements do we have? We have scandium to zinc. Which series is this? This is first transition series. First transition series. Now, what is filled here? 3D electrons are filled. Now, after that, in indium, we have from yttrium to cadmium. This is the second transition series. Next, if I have to speak about tellurium, it is from lanthanum to, uh, this is mercury, this is your third transition series. Done. Now, what's happening here, every time, electron or there is an addition of electron, that is addition of electron is 3D subshell. I need to take out electron and that effect is always observed in gallium, which is immediately after zinc, gallium. Here, what do you have? Uh, indium here what do you have you have mercury but here what is happening apart from that when it is mercury the, uh, this particular thing uh, tellurium i'm sorry this is tellurium what happens here there is a concept called lanthanide contraction which is active so lanthanide contraction is ineffective shielding of electrons because of this lanthanide contraction the, thus that effect is observed in tellurium also that because of this the there is lower amount of energy which is required to take out that electron so here you should just write the first reason that because of the filling of 3d electrons first reason second root reason would be tellurium has higher energy that is 590 589 kilojoules per mole why due to lanthanide contraction observed so what actually is lanthanide contraction i have explained for grade 12 students that is there in f block elements in the playlist i have given a clear explanation about lanthanide contraction please watch the video for that